Haiti, part of the second largest island in the Caribbean, occupies one third of Hispaniola, which also includes the Dominican Republic. From a distance, Haiti looks like many Caribbean islands. You'll find the same clear waters and fertile soil good for growing sugarcane and coffee. Colonized by the French in 1697, Haiti became one of the richest islands in the Caribbean. Haitians won their independence in 1804, but years of political problems have made Haiti one of the poorest countries in the world. Low life expectancy, low literacy, or reading and writing ability, and poor living conditions are problems here. Today, the country has a democratically elected president, and life is slowly beginning to change for Haitians. Haiti is a developing nation, which means that it is a country with simple technology and few industries. Life expectancy is the average lifespan of a person. In Haiti, it is just over 49 years. Efforts to teach expectant mothers healthy ways to care for their babies are helping to increase life expectancy. Better hospital facilities are also helping to improve the health of many people here. Literacy is the ability to read and write. Most Haitians have not had the educational opportunities to learn to read and write. Haitians recognize the importance of education and more Haitian children are likely to go to school. Their one-room schools have walls made of banana bark and palm leaves. Students may have to walk miles from home to get to school. Resources are limited, but they are learning to read and write French, which is the official language of Haiti. Students are encouraged to take their books home and help their parents learn to read. Many Haitians speak Creole at home. This is a dialect, a regional variety of a language. Creole is based on French and African languages. The term Creole is also used to describe a person who is of mixed ancestry. The culture is Creole too, a combination of French, African, and West Indian cultures. 80% of Haiti's population lives in poverty. Many live on less than a dollar a day. Many Haitian families make a living from subsistence farming. They produce just enough food for one family, unlike large plantations that grow crops to sell to many people. In subsistence farming, which includes both crops and livestock, every family member has a job to do. These children are helping their family farm their plot of land. They grow sweet potatoes, beans, and corn, and raise goats, pigs, and chickens. Instead of cow's milk, they drink goat's milk. They use donkeys to carry goods to and from the market. Here, families sell foods from their own farms and buy foods that they cannot grow themselves. When the women go to market, they usually carry their loads on their heads. It doesn't hurt, and it leaves their hands free. This takes some practice. To grow enough food to feed themselves, subsistence farmers have often overused the land. Haitians have also cut down many trees to use as firewood. Without trees to hold the topsoil in place, much of it has been washed away. 
Haiti's new government is aware of the environmental problems caused by overusing the land, and it is working to create new jobs. This will give Haitians ways other than farming to make a living. Decades of poverty have hurt Haiti's economy. As Haitians improve their health conditions, increase opportunities for education, and find better jobs, their lives and their land will improve.